What's up guys and welcome back to Software and Audio Solutions and today we're talking about Apex Legends latest update. Yes, the latest update is here ladies and gentlemen and it looks absolutely beautiful, the cosmetics, everything looks absolutely great but unfortunately a lot of people are running into FPS issues inside the game. Now a lot of people are running into these FPS issues by either in gunfights, in water or when they're in buildings, in weird places in the game they are losing fps from 144 to under 60 to under 30 that is really really bad fps that's unplayable fps i mean if you're dropping under 60 fps that's unplayable so today i'm going to show you an fps boost guide just follow my guidelines and you should be good to go with the game now i know a lot of people play this game on steam and a lot of people play this game on origin i'm personally an origin user i've been playing this game ever since season one or basically launch day so i'm going to drop down in the description down below command lines that you can use to get better fps and also show you FPS inside the game for Steam and also for Origin. Right, let's jump straight into this. Let me show you what you need to do. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter. You're going to go to system over here, go to notifications and actions and turn this off and only tick this box over here. Focus assist, you're going to turn this off and turn all four of these things off. Power and sleep is your own personal preference. I keep mine off because I never switch my PC off. So this is your own personal preference. Storage, you can keep this on. A lot of people are saying this frees up space, but I don't keep it on because I'm an advanced PC user, so I keep it off. I highly recommend switching it on if you do not use a PC for advanced use or whatever the case might be. You just play games, then you can put this on. It doesn't really matter. Tablet mode. Use the appropriate mode from a hardware and don't switch to tablet mode. You're obviously not playing this game on a tablet. You're either playing it on a desktop or on a laptop. All right, from here, you're going to go to multitasking. And over here, this you only turn this on if you have multiple displays. I have multiple displays and I still turn this off. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this will help you a lot with FPS and it will also help you a lot with your windows being much smoother. The next step you're going to need to do is go to projecting to this PC. If you have anything inside you to turn off, I rate to turn it off. Unfortunately, I don't. Go to share experiences. And make sure everything is off inside here. You're going to go to clipboard and once you're over here by clipboard, you're going to click clear. I already cleared mine. Go to remote desktop and make sure this is turned off as well. You're going to click on home over here. Go to privacy and you're going to go to diagnostic and feedback. Scroll all the way down and say delete over here. Once you're done with that, you're going to scroll all the way down and go to background apps. Now, for a lot of people, this might be on. I highly recommend you switch this off. Otherwise, it's going to use RAM and resources of your computer while all of these things are on and running in the background. All you need to do is turn it off and everything will turn off. Once you're done with that, go back to the home page over here and go to gaming. You're going to click on this. A lot of people have different preferences on this. If you turn this on and you get better gameplay experience, then I highly recommend keeping it on. For me, if I turn it on or off, it doesn't do anything for me at all, so I just leave mine off. You're going to go back to home and go to update and security, and make sure that your Windows is up to date. Just make sure that your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. I checked for an update earlier on, so my Windows is up to date. Just make sure your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. Once you're done with that, you're going to go out, go to the search button over here, and type in device manager just like this and open up device manager you're going to go to display adapters now you might have an amd graphics card or an nvidia graphics card just right click on it and say update driver and say search automatically for driver it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed this is a simple and easy way of letting you know if you have the latest drivers installed the other way of going to go and check or basically go and download a driver is go to any search browser that you have and go and download the latest drivers like if i type in over here 2060 uh, driver download, you know, whatever graphics card you have, just type in the graphics card and then driver download and go and download the latest driver for your graphics card. Once you're done with that, I highly recommend for NVIDIA users to install GeForce Experience. GeForce Experience lets you know new driver has been released and it will be in yellow over here. Now, like I said before, I know a lot of people play this game on Origin and a lot of people play this game on Steam. So there are two different platforms that you can play this game on. So I will leave the command lines down below in the description down below. One will be categorized as Origin and one will be categorized as Steam. And those will be command lines that you can use to get better FPS in the game as well. Now, if you are a NVIDIA user, just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. You're going to open up NVIDIA control panel and you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and then use this one here where it says use the advanced 3 image settings. Apply this if you don't have this already selected. If you have a mid-tier to low-tier gaming PC, I highly recommend selecting this one and saying performance and say apply. Once you are done with that, you're going to go to this one over here. I'm just going to say no. You're going to go to this one over here and go here 
and do not select auto select do not select cpu select the graphics card you're currently running and say apply once you're done with that you're going to go to manage 3d settings and you're going to go to global settings over here the first one that you're going to need to do is this one over here where it says CUDA GPUs. You are going to click on this and select the graphics card you're currently running. You're going to scroll all the way down. And where it says DSR factors over here, make sure that the, all of these things are unticked. This is a new feature in the video control panel. It's been out for a while. I don't know if you know about it. If you don't and one of yours is ticked, untick them and make sure it is on off. Where it says OpenGL rendering GPU, select the graphics card that you're currently running. Do not select auto select. Just put it on the graphics card you're currently running. This one over here where it says power management mode, select this one and then say prefer maximum performance. Do not say optimal power, do not say adaptive, prefer maximum performance. Scroll all the way down and this one over here is for people out there that is running different types of graphics cards. So if you're running a high-end graphics card, like a very, very top tier graphics card, you can put this on high quality, you can put this on high. If you have a low tier gaming graphics card or mid tier, put it on performance and very low tier graphics cards, put it on high performance. You can try any one of these, the, just try them out and whichever one works for you best is going to work for you best for your machine. Virtual sync, you're going to turn this off. Just make sure you turn this off. If you have a gaming display, you might have to turn this on at your own personal preference again. So I turn mine off and I keep it off and then you're going to say apply. Once you're done with that, you're going to go over here where it says adjust desktop color settings. You're going to click on this. Now, like I said, I have multiple displays. You're going to click on image three over here and you're going to change the digital vibrance. Then you don't need to use NVIDIA filters. NVIDIA filters also eats FPS in your game. If you use NVIDIA filters to make your game look nice, you can just use this to make your game look nice. I put mine on 85. It's my own personal preference with everyone having different displays and different gaming monitors and, you know, laptop displays or whatever the case might be, because there's so many monitors out there, so many displays out there. Yours is going to be your own personal preference. Mine is 85. And then I just say apply and I keep it like this. Once you're done with that, you're going to go out of this and you're going to go to the search button here, even graphics settings, just like that. And you're going to go over here where it says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure this is turned on. If you have one of the latest graphics cards, not the best, but newer generation graphics cards, you'll have this option. I know it's in the 10 series. I know it's in the 20 series. I know it's in the 30 series. I'm not exactly sure about AMD, but yeah. What you can do over here is you can click on browse and then go to where your game is installed. Mine is installed over here, Origin Games, Apex Legends, and then select this one over here where it says R5 Apex. You're going to double click on it. You're going to go to options, go to high performance and say save. Now it's going to use high performance on your graphics card and it will boost your FPS by a lot. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, it works very, very well. You're going to go to the search button over here again and you're going to type in edit power plan just like this and click on edit power plan you're going to go to power options and you're going to go to create a plan you're going to go to high performance delete everything that's inside of here and say apex legends new settings or call it whatever you want and just say next once you're done there you say never never and say create now you have one over here that you just created you go to change plan settings change advanced power settings and you're going to go over here now as you can see this one is active that we just created where it says hard disk yours might say over here like 10 minutes like this or 20 minutes like this you are only going to type in zero just like this and click anywhere and it's going to say never so now it's going to say turn off hard disk after never this is especially useful for people out there that's running this game on a mechanical hard drive and not an ssd or an m.2 now i'm running my games on my whole computer it's just SSDs, so I also put this off and it helps me a lot. Just say apply once you're done with that, scroll all the way down, go to processor power management, go to minimum processor state, and change this from whatever it is to 100%. Just type it in. This one over here, you're going to do the exact same thing, and you're going to say OK. Once you're done with that, you just can just close out of this, and now we just created the best power plan for your graphics card, and the best power plan for your power plan in general for windows all right so we're going to jump straight into the game i'm going to show you what you're going to need to change in the game to get better fps inside and have a smooth gameplay experience all right let's jump straight into that all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see we are in apex legends right now and i'm doing about 144 fps inside the lobby all right now as you can see i'm 100 and 
34 level right now. I've sold my old account. That's a long story. I'm not going to make this video any longer than that. Anyways, so what you're going to need to do is go to the option gear icon over here, go to settings, and then go to video tab over here. Make sure you play this game in full screen mode. If you do play this game in windowed or borderless window and get more FPS, then go ahead and do so. It's your own personal preference, but I do highly recommend keeping it in full screen mode. Put this on native and put this on your native resolution. If you have a 4K monitor or whatever the case might be, just put it as the native resolution of your monitor. Over here, overall brightness this is your own personal preference depending on the display or the monitor that you're running. Field of view, also your own personal preference. I keep mine at 110 so I can see more field of view. Basically, that's what FOV stands for. So I keep mine at 110. This one over here, you can enable and then sprint shake. You can just put on normal. You don't have to put it on minimal. Doesn't really matter these things. Over here, VSync, disable this unless you have a gaming monitor. Then you can choose a specific one for your monitor. But I do disable mine and I highly recommend you disable yours. NVIDIA Reflex, I highly recommend disabling this and putting this on zero. You do not want to cap your FPS. Anti-analyzing, you put this on TSAA, do not put this on none. You can put it on none, the game might not look as great, but I highly recommend putting on TSAA. This one over here, so this plays a very, very big role, the texture streaming budget. Right, it plays a very big role. So if I move this all the way up and say 8 gigs, if you have an 8 gig graphics card, I highly recommend you change it down to 6. If you have a 6 gig graphics card, you put it on 4. If you have a 4 gig graphics card, you put it on 3 or on 2 and 3. If you have a 3 gig graphics card, you put it on 2 or you put it on none. I don't really recommend none. I do recommend this very low one over here, but you get my point. So I'm going to go back to 4 gigs because I'm running a 6 gig graphics card. Alright, this one over here where it says ambient occlusion quality, I keep mine on high. If you have a lower end gaming graphics card than mine, just put it on medium or on low and you should be good to go. I keep mine on high and I'm good with to go with a game like this. This one, put on low, put on low, and then this one, disable it completely. These two over here, put this on disable as well, and then here we go. This is the main things of your game. So model detail, you can put on high. Put effects detail on medium. I mean, you don't really need to see the effects, you can even put this on low. Impact marks. Yes, obviously you want to see the impact marks, but you can disable this completely if you want to. And you'll still see the impact marks. It's not like it's going to go away. Alright, so you can just put it on low or disable it completely. It's your own personal preference. I just keep mine on low. And then ragdoll. This is how people like, you know, when you shoot them and they fall and how they fly around and whatever the case might be. You can just put this on medium or just put it on low. It doesn't really matter. I keep mine on medium and I apply these settings. These are the best settings for Apex Legends right now. And you will do better FPS inside this game. If this video helped you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos to come. And as always, peace out.